Welcome guys to another video. Welcome to my channel. My name is David Pinto. They also call me Tips with Dave and welcome to the channel. If you're watching for the first time and you're interested in learning skill sets and value that is actually going to impact not only the way you conduct your business, but I really want to bring you authentic value which you can utilize so that it helps your, your business further. So if, if it's the first time you're watching this channel, firstly, I want to welcome you. Really a big, big welcome for myself. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification because every single week I put out content for you guys uh, and for myself to express my story, to share my journey. But this whole channel is about skill sets. Now, I mainly focus on two main skills, marketing and um, affiliate marketing, basically, and trading, okay? So if you wanna learn about that, that this is the place to be, especially for 2020. So here I am and I wanna share with you guys today two simple email marketing strategies. Now, if you guys are following me on this channel for a while, you'll note that we follow a simple formula. The simple formula that we follow is, how do we get people to visit our product or service if we're talking about marketing, specifically, how do we market that product to not only buy the product or service, but utilize a system, uh, you know, a self-generating system which allows you to generate sales on autopilot, okay? So to automate your business more than anything else. And then actually continue to maintain that support and generate traffic. So your main focus is finding out how to get eyeballs onto this offer that you have. Now, I have my recommended you know, process that I follow. In fact, I have a free guide which goes through not only the skill sets, but if you wanna learn about trading or marketing, uh, it's the first link in the description, so feel free to check that out if you want the free content. It's a whole free service that you're going to get, basically, and I want to support you with that uh, material. So you're going to get more and more content as I go along. 2020 for me is focused specifically on bringing you guys top value, which has been helping me. And I've done a lot of research. I'm really excited to bring out these videos on marketing because I haven't done them on my channel for such a long time. I've been focus on opportunities and not really skill sets and now i'm really wanting to get into the skill sets for you guys because it's helped me i've generated sales in one uh company which i'm using as an affiliate marketing business as well over 3500 i think in turn turnover uh the others are going up as we go along so that there is already sales generated and and emails do help me so if you're interested in email marketing stay tuned let's get into actually the the main content of this video guys uh i will link all the, the 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 slides so the content of the slides will be in the description so you can check that out at any point of time and feel free to comment below in case you don't understand or i'm going too fast uh just make sure you re-watch the video and also comment below in case i've you know not said something clearly enough for you guys to understand okay so let's get into it so these are two simple email marketing strategies that you can utilize in 2020 to start to generate more affiliate marketing sales uh, or just sales in your business if you want to even get engaged with your emails that you're sending okay so i'm going to break down the the specifics for you guys let's go and get into it so first and foremost is value-based email marketing this is the first simple strategy now what is value-based email marketing okay i know that everybody talks about share value 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 but what is value you know uh something that i might consider value might not actually be generating value for yourself so it's very important to understand what that value-based email marketing is okay because no more are the days that you can pitch go you know sales uh, direct sales marketing in the sense that you go door to door and say hey do you want this and you start to listen everybody needs to know what value you're providing them if you don't know how to provide them the value then you're not really understanding what the what marketing is in the first place okay i'm going to give you an example in terms of like a door to door marketing and then break it down into email marketing but uh, if you guys have not watched, you know, Young Sheldon, uh, I know it's a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a TV program based on uh, Sheldon, the character Sheldon from, uh, from Big Bang Theory, but they have Young Sheldon now as a TV program. And uh, Sheldon's brother is a salesman, right? So he started off, and actually this was uh, described very nicely in, uh, in, in one of the la last episodes. I'm not sure which one. Um, but 
he went basically to sell snow globes. And after a certain point, he realized that there was a story behind the snow globes for each person. And that's what was bringing value to their life in the sense that he went, met somebody who reminded them that their brother, brother liked to have, make snow angels, for example. That was a memory that brought value to that person's life and that uh, the snow globe was bringing value because it was connected to an emotional response for the person, right? So in that sense, what Sheldon's brother was doing is basically checking what value the other person needs, sees in the product that he's selling, okay? Now that could have been snow globes. That's, many people might term this as a sales pitch or understanding the story, uh, telling in your marketing and so on and so forth. But I would say that it is a perfect example to use in terms of your email marketing. Because with email marketing, it's like going door to door. You, you definitely generate interest from people when you get the emails, right? So for example, if you click on, uh, the, the formula we follow is definitely driving traffic to generate an email address for you to be in contact with. Because no matter what anybody says, email marketing is still the number one return of investment for every single person. Yes, it is a real business. It does take time when you're marketing it, but when you build trust through your email list, it will generate you sales forever, okay? And if there are no people who are on your list that are, are consistent with purchasing from you, you can get rid of them. So it's always a fresh list that you can, you can generate. So email marketing is really powerful, and I would say one of the most powerful strategies even in 2020 going forward, okay? So it is definitely not dead. But what is the value-based email? I know that many of you might still find out and think that getting emails in your inbox is really a waste of time. But if you take a problem and try to solve that problem for the person on why they firstly came into your, uh, into your whole ecosystem, you generated a lead by getting an email. Now, to that email, you're giving the solution to that problem that they were searching in the first place, okay? That's why they're giving you their email address. So take the problem-based issues that you can solve. So if you have um, a specific category or a specific um, you know, part, type of email that you're writing, for example, I am an email marketer when it comes to the make money online niche. So I'm teaching people or I'm looking at the problems of how to generate leads, how to uh, make sure that you're optimizing your content. Uh, what is the best way to make sales? Okay, these are problems that people have in the industry and my target audience are people who are not just newly getting started, but yes, newbies, as well as people who have been in the industry and failed for a while, which can add value to their lives. Okay, so I take that problem and I break it down into a solution because I see what's worked for me and then I share with them what's working for me, okay? But I take the problem-based issue and I try to solve it by the content that I'm providing, okay? So break it down into, which leads me, leads me to my next point, you break it down into simple content to follow. You don't exaggerate in your email, you don't try to overwhelm them with saying you need to do this and this and this and this and this, no. Guys, they are on your email list, okay? As long as you, they are on your email list, you have a long time, even if it's 30 days, even if it's 40 days, even if it's one year, you have a long time for you to break it down into simple content, which allows them to slowly break the barriers which they have had. Because as individuals, we create these barriers in our life and we need to break them down in order to get the result that we are looking for, right? So when you break it down into simple content, this is what it does. It you know pushes away, it breaks down the wall, and pushes uh, the person forward so slowly, step by step, that they can actually receive that kind of results, okay? And these kind of value-based emails, I would suggest, don't need to be uh, pitching a product to make the sale, okay? You can have three to four emails a week if you're getting started, and these three to four emails can be purely value-based. So for example, if you make a video like I am making on YouTube, I share that video content in my email okay i tell them guys this is where you can get the information and i share with them more because i would prefer video marketing to email marketing that's just me okay i create my content on video and then i transcribe it and make sure that that valuable content is also getting to the people who are on my list okay so they get added value every single time when they go to the videos 
okay? Because I speak about it in different ways. They get different nuggets. They can join my Facebook group and there I share more information. So I'm adding value on the same topic, but in different platforms on a different, uh, different scales, okay? So three to four emails per week just to get started if that's, your, if that's what you want. I prefer doing it every single day that I, I send an email every single day with that value so that they can see very clearly what they are receiving and whether it actually adds value to their life or not. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on the problem and not creating my own value because I see that it has value. Check the problem and find this and make sure that you're giving them a solution to that problem in simple, uh, consumable, understandable content. Okay, the best method if you get stuck is called the Seinfeld method. Now, Sir Russell Brunson, who is the owner or the CEO of Click Funnels, talks about this a lot, which is a Seinfeld method, is sharing your day to day activities on what what you're doing in order for you to generate that kind of value for your own life, okay? That allows you to break down the barriers that you might have with getting stuck in saying, what do I write in my emails? How do I write an email? It doesn't matter, you're gonna make mistakes, okay? You're gonna make mistakes, your emails are not gonna be perfect. Your audience may not like everything from the beginning. Sounds negative? No, it's actually quite positive because as you make those mistakes, as you keep writing, you're gonna get better and better at it. Okay, so make sure that you're not stuck and you keep writing and sending those emails. Let's go to the next one. The way that you can send those emails, collect those emails and actually, you know, send them. This is still based on the value, uh, value-based marketing. You can utilize tools like GetResponse, Aweber, MailChimp. There are many others. I'm just main mentioning two, or I, two here. I personally use Aweber. If you want to get Aweber, I have a link in the description to Aweber. Uh, yes, it is an affiliate link, so I will de definitely generate a commission on it if you do decide to get Aweber, but I think you can get for one month for free and then the, the next month, depending on how many people you have on your list, you pay a certain level. So you can go and check out the prices on Aweber itself. Uh, so I have a link to Aweber in the description in case you're interested, okay? So these are the tools that I personally use for my email marketing. Now, the second kind of email, the second simple email strategy is milestones okay milestone emails what is a milestone email milestone emails if i break it down is challenges that you have achieved okay um that you've overcome proof progress results where you've reached a certain a certain goal targets that you had for for example at the beginning of the year or whenever you start you say I, this is what i want to do this is where i want to uh, go this is what i want to generate etc so you're reaching certain targets okay so you're reaching certain targets, basically, okay? Proof progress results is another good one. Um, invite them to reply and reach out to join the journey that you're on, okay? These are milestones that you're, 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 you're sharing with them. So for example, if you are on a journey to reach a certain number, you're inviting them to reply and say, what are your milestones? What are you doing? Share, let me know you about your journey. Let me know about your milestones so I can celebrate them with you, okay? This in, invites engagement from your email list, okay? This invites um, the possibility to share your own story, okay? Because when you're inviting them and you're also sharing a bit of yourself with your audience, you're sharing a bit of yourself with your email list, okay? So every month use milestone uh, emails to promote your affiliate product. This is something that a lot of people will not tell you, uh, but milestone emails work when it comes to uh, not only milestone emails, but even milestone videos. So for example, if you make a milestone video uh, on YouTube and you share that in your email, you can also link it to your product or service that you're offering, and that's gonna generate you a sale. I will, it, depending on your audience, depending how much obviously they are engaged, I cannot guarantee that you're gonna get sales that way, but it depends also how you do them every single month. What I do basically is I have value-based emails that I send every single day and at least uh, once a month, and that's minimum guys, or once a month promote my product or service, that's minimum, okay? I would do it actually once every single week, so at least four to five times per month you're actually promoting your product or service, but you're adding more value and then you're sharing this value has also generated me you know, uh, it has a direct impact on the fact that I have this product or service to offer you. 
And if you want that product or service, they're getting even more value, okay? Because they have bonuses to achieve from that, uh, from the fact that they're getting that product or service. So that's gonna generate you a sale if you're looking at generating sales from your email list as well, okay? Which is primarily where you should. So make, take time. This has uh, the, the value-based emails and milestone emails do two things. They allow you to generate a, a relationship with your email list. And they, uh, generating a relationship or creating a relationship with your email list does take time, okay? It's not gonna happen overnight. You start to, to generate leads on a daily basis. Those leads after a certain amount of time will get old. So this is why we focus on two things when it comes to email marketing generating consistent leads and then emailing those leads after a certain point of time if those leads get old and they don't like your content anymore don't worry about it just you know move on but your focus is still on getting those new leads in, okay so that's why every single month those milestone videos uh sorry emails that you you promote can be also linked to your affiliate product or service okay and now I'm gonna share with you guys a bonus tip. And this is just related to conversions. This is more on the technical side for email marketing. So for those of you who are you know, interested in the technical side of things, these are the two simple strategies that I personally use and they're working for me. So if you wanna try them out, please go ahead. In fact, try them out and let me know in the comments if you have had success, what is your success? What are the things that you are learning from, okay? Um, and the bonus tip, guys, this is, this is the epic part because the milestone emails are these kind of achievements. You know, when you have milestone emails, let me just, before I go into the bonus tip guys, uh, milestone emails make, is a, a rush of adrenaline. You know, it's when you achieve something, when you, when you uh, are, you know, getting up every day in the morning to exercise and you achieve, achieve a certain goal, don't you feel good about it? Those are the kind of things that inspire other people. So that's why milestone emails are, are so powerful. Okay, now we go to the bonus tip, guys, which is the emoji template bonus tip. This is something that I'm, I'm mentioning to you because I think that you should start using it more. It'll either get people to unsubscribe, which is great because they are people who are not interested in your content, or they will get people to even sign up more uh, and you know open your, uh, open your emails much more. So Aweber states statistically that there's only 6.9% of emails that do not use emoji sorry yes i think i made a mistake in this it's 6.9 percent of the the people in aweber only use emojis in the email so most of them do not use emojis sorry i need to maybe change this slide a bit okay um try them out in your subject what i personally do is i definitely put related to what i'm talking about an emoji in my subject and you know, just to see the the open rates just to see the conversion rates and it does help because Remember, you're attracting. It stands out in your inbox. It's just not, you know, words. Suddenly, you have an emoji that somebody's interested and in, looks at it and says, "What is this about? Let me check it." Okay, so it does grab the attention of your audience from if you start using emojis in your email list. Okay, so don't be afraid to make mistakes. Remember, this is something that I would love to have known in the beginning because when I just got started online, specifically with my email list. I made a lot of mistakes, but I, I, I really was quite aggressive to myself on the mistakes that I was making. And I said, why am I making so many mistakes? I need to understand it more. I need to be more perfect. Uh, you know, I need to have the perfect emails uh, when I'm sending it to my, to my email list and to start getting, getting better results and so on and so forth. But there's one thing that I will tell you that is just like any business. Okay, don't be afraid to make those mistakes. It is your list. And the relationships you build with your list is important at the end of the day. And that is based only on you, not on me. These strategies do help because it allows you to get in touch with human emotions at the end of the day. And every single marketing is relationship based. So when you understand that, it does help you. But at the end of the day, it's your list. How you share your story, I can't say. Some people are more number based, some people are more storytelling based. If you are more storytelling based as an individual you like to share your story and and articulate yourself in different ways then that's going to be the way that you share with your list if you're more result based driven and you know that the challenges that you have achieved the milestone that you have achieved are related to those numbers people are going to resonate with that 
at the end of the day, it's your list and it's based on you how you actually generate a nice flow of uh, relationships that you're building with your list. So guys, I hope you got value from this, uh, from this video. And if you do like the content that I'm sharing with you on this channel, like I mentioned before, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified every single time I post a video. Uh, I am taking a lot of time and effort into making these videos and I would really appreciate all the, uh, the feedback on this channel. It helps me grow definitely. And I, if, I, I'm really excited to create this, this kind of content because it does take my, uh, my full concentration to give you guys the best of the best. Okay. Um, in the description below, as I mentioned, the first link is to my personal guide. It's a free guide guys. And then you can decide if you want to get started with trading or with marketing as your main source of income online or main skill set, I would say, uh, online. And other than that, if you want to see the tools that I'm using in my business, it's all linked in the description. So feel free to reach out at any point of time and keep paving the way for your dreams to come true. I want to see you guys on the next video. Thank you.